So starting on September 9th, arguably one of the best games of 2024 is poised to release. Bring some serious fun that I haven't seen since Vermintide. The game I'm talking about is Warhammer 40k Space Marines 2. You probably clicked on this video because, just like me a few weeks ago, you were either craving some information about the game or just looking for something to hold you over until the full release. Now while I haven't had a hands on experience just yet, I'm pretty versed in everything Space Marines 2 and in this video I'm going to be breaking down everything I know so far about the game so you have a more surface level idea of what to expect when Space Marines 2 launches on September the 9th. Let's begin. Quickly, before we dive into the info, I'm doing a giveaway of two copies of Space Marine 2 here on YouTube and the other in the Discord. All you have to do is leave a like, a comment on which class you're looking forward to playing the most, and be subscribed to the channel, and just like that, you're entered into the giveaway. For the Discord giveaway, simply join the Discord, enter through the giveaway channel, and just like that, you have two chances of possibly winning the game. Thank you guys for the support on the channel, and good luck! Starting off strong, let's talk about what to expect in terms of gameplay and the different game modes. As you might expect from a game set in the Warhammer universe, Space Marines 2 feature an intense world unlike any other. It's a bit hard to describe, but when looking at the world, it definitely leans more on the grittier side of things, featuring heavy armor and heavy weapons, tons of blood and gore, and big, powerful men. The gameplay inherently is a bit sluggish compared to many other games in the genre, but that's somewhat expected when you have the heavy, bulky armor that the Marines themselves wear. Obviously, considering the world they're in, which is infested with Tyranids and a large variety of enemies, having that heavy armor is pretty much required. That's the trade-off. You get a bit lower movement, but a ton of protection to navigate the very, very dangerous world. That's not to say there isn't any mobility. Some of the Marines have some unique abilities just for this, and of course you have the ability to dodge, but overall expect a slower, more methodical approach. In terms of game modes, expect three that we know of so far. The base campaign, a more linear story-driven mode, operations, the ever-changing sandbox style mode, and eternal war, which sadly we haven't seen too much of yet, but it is the PvP mode that a lot of us players, including myself, are looking forward to. With that said, let's delve a bit deeper into the combat mechanics. First off, the game features what you probably come to expect, ranged and melee combat. Some ranged weapons are tied to specific classics, for example, the heavy having access to the heavy bolter, while others have a bit more universal weapons like the bolt pistol that can be found on many classes. In a future video, we will be going a bit more in depth on each individual class's skills, playstyle, and weapons, but we'll briefly cover them in this video shortly. So what are some of the combat mechanics? First off, you have parry, which is very similar to a lot of games with a parry based mechanic. We have the standard parry indicator, a blue greenish indicator, which means it's a standard attack that can generally be parried fairly easy, triggering a pretty strong counter attack. On the other end, there's a red indicator signaling an unparryable attack, meaning you should get out of the way. Keep in mind, there is also a perfect dodge, which usually puts you in an instant kill or against elites, high damage animations, if timed correctly. The most important part about this mechanic is when you take damage, you lose armor chunks, eventually exposing your health, making you more vulnerable to possibly being killed. When you master the counter or execute an enemy, you gain armor, which means mastering this mechanic is pretty important. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to, but from what I can tell, it seems like a mechanic that most players will pick up in the first couple of hours once they get used to the game. Now that we've covered the game basics, let's quickly cover the marines to give you a better idea of what to expect. So starting off with the tactical marine, tactical is more of a well balanced class that to my understanding features the most weapons available in the game. They have the ability to scan enemies, this ability obviously lights them up making it easier for them to see, but also can reveal cloaked opponents which is actually pretty integral to the team and it increases the damage taken by enemies when they're hit. The tactical core abilities revolve around enhancing their range abilities like extra penetration on weapons, team skills that increase range efficiency, gear skills to make your scan more efficient, and even signature skills to make headshots kill elites in a single shot a very well-rounded class. The Assault Marine is a highly mobile class that focuses on melee heavy playstyle, using shock hammers and jetpacks. Expect perks like faster recharge on enemy kills, team perks that give more gun strike damage to teammates, gear skills to give you more AoE on ground pound attacks, and signature skills that deal damage on takeoff with your jump pack. The Vanguard is what I believe to be the second most mobile marine equipped with a grapple that can be used for high mobility and personal attack. Expect more single target high damage range 
up close and personal hit and run playstyle approach. Expect perks that make your melee damage deal more damage when facing tougher enemies. Team perks that give allies more melee damage. Gear skills that give you defense and utility after using your dive kick. And signature perks like killing enemies to restore HP. Next we have the Bulwark, the tankiest marine who have the ability to drop a war banner that can restore allies armor while also being equipped with a shield that does some insane parrying and block. Expect core skills that heavily revolve around the shields, giving damage when bashing with your shield. Team perks that make allies take overall less damage when being attacked. Gear perks that give you shield bashing damage and signature perks that can make you an iron fortress unable to be staggered. For the players who really love being tanky, the Bulwark is probably going to be one of the more integral marines to have in your team and I expect to see them in pretty much every lineup. Next we have the Sniper Marine, a ranged specialist who uses a hard hitting sniper rifle and camouflage to provide some extra decisive utility. Expect to see a specialist killer using your sniper to single out tougher enemies or use your non-sniper weapon to deal with non-specials. Expect core perks that make your sniper or ranged weapons way more effective Team perks to make allies range combat efficiency more effective, gear perks to make stealth more deadly, and signature perks that reward the sniper with equipment charges for being a headhunter. In my opinion, this is going to be one of the tougher classes to master, but a very integral marine for taking out those specials when played correctly. Finally, we have the Heavy, who comes with the Iron Halo ability, a forward dome-like shield that blocks ranged projectiles and keep you and your allies safe. Typically, this marine is played at a range, more of a suppressor-style marine while wielding huge Gatling-like weapons. Expect core perks like multi-kill, which give ammo when killing multiple enemies in a single shot, team perks that reduce range damage for all allies, Gear perks centered around Iron Halo that benefit the heavy and allies with things such as armor regen after it fully expands, and pretty broken signature perks that restore massive amounts of allies ability cooldown all in one amazing class. The heavy in my opinion seems to be the biggest team player in the game and once again like the bulwark could be a very integral part of the team when played correctly. And there you have it, that is more of a basic breakdown of what to expect from Space Marines 2. From his rich combat, to his pretty awesome PvP and PvE modes, to his pretty straightforward but cool perk system, and much more. Just remember, I'm going to be keeping you guys up to date on any new information and guides leading into and beyond the launch of Space Marines 2. If you found what you saw here today helpful, consider subscribing to the channel to stay up to date on all things Space Marines 2, jump in the Discord and get acquainted with a lot of the members there all really cool and just like that i'll be seeing you in the next video very soon